Yes. T Z U R. Yes. The T is silent. Yeah. T is silent. Adam, uh, we are talking here on the side at the backdrop of the Salika market, okay. made in Salika market, and you are telling us about your your karate classes. Ah uh, yes. So I do karate. With I've been training for 13 years now. I've been doing the style of Goju Ryu. Go is hard, Ju is soft, Ryu is style. So uh, I've been doing that for 13 years from uh, under my master Floyd Casper in Salika itself, Green Meadow School. Been training with him for quite a while. and i'm also uh, a national competitor and i represent goa on a national level wow. in sanshu wushu which is uh, full combat uh, fighting which involves kicks throws and what not uh, i've been i have i dabbled here and there for different styles of disciplines i've done 2 years of boxing i'm a runner up for goa again state level i see uh, state level again for 100 meters 200 meters wow sprint. that's yeah. a lot yeah <laughs> it's a I'm uh, also currently training in Aikido. Aikido. My sensei is coming from Dubai. What's Aikido? Aikido is a st- again another style of style of martial art, which is based on um, using your opponent's weight, weight and using it against them. Okay. And how to stave off, how to run away, how to defend yourself. It's a. I, I like. I'm interested in doing multiple things. And besides all this, you're also a professional web designer. Yes, I'm a web developer. I yes, work for a company called Agency. and soon i'll be working for turtle mint as well it's one of the biggest uh, companies in india a unicorn company so okay. it's up up and coming okay okay I've, yeah i do quite so, so i'm busy in the days doing that adam well. adam what's the scene of karate and martial arts in goa now um scene as in what do you mean is the like uh, how is it doing is it popular are there small it, clicks or or well, when it comes to karate not many people are interested they're more interested in something flashy like kickboxing or mma because that's what's going on uh, you know privately and it works pretty well privately because they get paid yeah and in karate now you don't really get much payment i even though i represent goa on a national level i get zero support from the government i see Even though I have won every single 70 kilo weight category on uh, state level fight in Goa, oh, wow. open state as well, which means that they can come from any other style, regardless if it's uh, if it's not bushu, it doesn't matter. I still have managed to win, but yeah, so the support is not there is one reason why people don't join. Hmm. But now that I'm there and I've been training, I I somewhat can give them some support to compete, and maybe you know. find a way to get the uh, society as well or a group of people to support each other so you offering training i do i do offer training how do people contact you some phone numbers some... also i have an instagram account which contains my phone number you can directly it's uh, called? message me there uh, adam underscore tz you are or T-Z-U-R. it's all lower case or i have also a facebook page gojuryu goa sorry gojuryu goa that's Spelling? the karate star g o j u r y u goa so those are the two places or you can I have also put up posters on uh, online, so you can see my phone number and everything. You need a lot of commitment and dedication to be in this field, no? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It. Uh, I've been training for quite a long time. When did a bug bite you? At what age? Um, since I was six, seven. Really? Since, yeah. My now you are. Is, now you are. I'm 26 now. Thank so you. I've been doing it for quite a while. So when I say 13 years, I'm just meaning only specifically for karate. Yeah. I have done. S- Since 2014, I've been doing bushu. I started in Saint Francis Xavier's Shiolim School yeah. under Mr. Paulo Kilman Fernandez, and I've been before that I've been doing bujuryu under Floyd Casper. You have pockets of this, which is uh, not well known to the outside world, but they are very active and they are working very hard. Yeah, they are working really, really hard. But uh, again, it's more of a we, more private compared to even though we're supposed to get the government support, we it's more privatized. very difficult very difficult hmm you think it's worth for a young person guy uh, girl or guy to get into well why if so why of course uh, fitness wise you know it also mentally uh, challenges you discipline a lot of discipline is involved and it um, i'd say it set me on a straight path see uh, i worked i've been working i've been studying since 10th standard i've been paying my own uh, stuff it makes you very disciplined and motivated yeah, you, you want to push yourself I to see. do more you know and i only do more now soon i'll be going to thailand as well to learn muay thai i've been it's a course to learn one month course of muay thai it's a M-O? traditional style in uh, thailand m o i m u a y t h a i muay thai it's their traditional style 
So that there's no end to, to learning there's no end. end. Never. And you would recommend young people to take it up, take it seriously? It depends on their choice, what they plan on doing. How but do they get started? You just join, just say hi. That's the first thing. Join someone class. who can teach you. Yeah. Just, no. Hopefully we could get something going here if your plans work out. I hope it does. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on uh, yeah. uh, one week. Um, one week introduction. Yeah, one week introduction. Yeah. Some people say one one class is enough, but you know you don't really learn much from that first yeah. class because there's a lot of talking involved and explanation. But okay. when you have to open the body, you finally realize how much you have done. Okay. From the stretch and the. It's not so easy. It's easier than. Easier talk said talk than is that. cheap. Yeah. Talk is yeah. cheap. Just talking is not enough. You need to do, you know. Adam, Adam, thanks a lot. Thank you and, and all the very best in all your work. Thanks.